Hello and welcome to this week's Modern Toy Fair Reviews. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Storm Collectibles Golden Axe Skeleton Warrior 2-Pack. If you managed to pick these up before they sold out or got them when they restocked, let me know what you think about them down in the comments below. Also let me know if you're still out on the hunt for them. But let's go ahead and get started. As always, we are going to start off with just how the figure turned out. We're going to look at the face and the head first here. You'll see that the dark eyes with some shading down into his nose. Down to his jaw, you've got the teeth are all molded in there and sculpted. You've got the jaw sculpted separately. You've got his cheekbone and his temple sculpted nicely with some shading. Up on top, we've got some cracks in the skull and then some wrinkles on the back. All done with a really nice wash to kind of make it pop and show up better. And then if we move down to his rib cage, not quite as shaded, but still looks really nice, really well sculpted. Got all the individual ribs and then the arms. Same thing, bones look really nice, and even down in the hands, you've got kind of individually sculpted fingers and the like bones in your hand. It's kind of hard to tell because they are tiny and rubber, but they did a great job. You do have the spine goes all the way from the neck down to the pelvis, which is really nice as well. It gets you quite a bit of detail in there. And then the pelvis is really well sculpted, even when you flip it around here. You'll notice it has the tailbone sculpted in the back, which is a detail I would not expect them to actually go out and do. You've got the spine, you've got the shoulder blades, like they, they went all out to try and make this thing as accurate as possible. And even down the legs, same as the arms, look really well done. A little bit of shading just kind of makes them look a little dingy, which is nice. And feet, you've got the individual bones for the toes and all that as well. So overall, really cool looking figure. All right, so next up is the articulation. And first we're going to take a look at the head. Spins around 360 degrees. You can tilt it pretty far up and then also pretty far down. And then he does tilt both to the left and to the right. And then as far as the waist goes, you do have two spots there. So you can get a lot of range, both forward and backward which is really really nice and then arms do go up 90 degrees they do swivel at the ball joint at the shoulder and they also swivel and bend 90 degrees at the elbow and wrist is on a ball joint so it can go pretty far and forward and back and twist 360 degrees as well and then you do get 360 degrees of rotation on the shoulder Moving down to the legs, you can get more than 90, as you can see on that ball joint. does swivel a bit. It even has a little hinge inside there, so you can kind of adjust it up and down, which is kind of nice. does get pretty much all the way around, forward and back as well. He can basically kick himself in the head. And then knee on the ball joint, bends pretty nicely, foot twists forward and backwards. And then also side to side which you can get a lot of range out of that. And then it does have a little bit of toe articulation. Get about 90 degrees forward and not much back, but don't really need it to go that way. So overall, these guys are super poseable and it's really nice. Now on to accessories. So first we're gonna start with the interchangeable hands. We do have a set of closed fists. And these you can see pretty well sculpted, got a little bit of a wash in there, kind of make it stand out. Got all the bones in the hand and the fingers. They are rubber, so they're easy to put on and off. And then we've got a pair of pointing fingers, or they could even be trigger fingers if you want. So if you wanted to give your skeleton some guns instead of swords, it's always an option as well. And then next up is just the kind of relaxed hands. These ones are nice if you just want them to look like they're just laying there dead, or just kind of standing, chilling. And then last set of hands is a pair of like clawed hands. So these ones are a little more like kind of like they're like clawing their way out of a grave or like climbing. So really cool looking set of hands in my opinion. Then we've got their shield, which has a little skull on it, which is really cool. It is a separate like mat instead of the gloss of the shield. And then each one, it's left and right. You've got the bar and the strap for it to be able to hold on to it. 
And then last up is the sword. Pretty plain. Looks real nice though. It's got a little hilt with black and gold. Kind of shines real nice, but it's nothing special. All right, real quick, I just want to give you a size comparison. Storm collectibles do scale a little bigger than most other lines that are 112. As you can see, I've got it here with everything from Mezco, Hasbro, Marvel Legends. You can see it's much taller than Batman, even taller than the Marvel Legends Doctor Doom. He is taller than even NECA, which are supposed to be slightly bigger. He's taller than Raphael here. And then he towers over the Power Rangers uh, Lightning Collection, Lord Draken. So still really cool, but you kind of have to pretend that he's a undead basketball player. <laughs> All right, last up is the box art, which I personally think this one turned out really cool. Here on the front, you'll see it's pretty much plain black, but then you've got the kind of 16-bit skeletons on the front with the Golden X logo. Looks really cool. Got the select player screen as the backdrop. You can't really see it, but it does have all the characters. And then on the side, you've got the skeleton figure with the Golden X logo. Same thing on the other side as well. And then if we flip it all the way on the back, you've got both of them. Different poses. You've got the Golden X logo up top. You do you have some warning labels? You've got the Storm Collectibles logo. And then down at the bottom, pretty much in Japanese, you've got the warning labels saying, please don't eat or choke on our action figure. So really cool box art, one of my favorites that I've gotten for sure. All right, super happy I managed to get these after they've been out of stock for months. Bluefin finally restocked them. Overall, really cool figures. Definitely want to get at least one more pack so I can get kind of a little skeleton army going, get some really cool pictures out of them. Make sure to let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are on them, both if you have them or just in general after my review. But that's going to wrap it up for this week's video. As always, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to like and subscribe. Hit the little bell to get notifications when our videos go up. We have Modern Toy Fair reviews on Mondays and Modern Toy Fair news with me and Jamar on Fridays. If you want to support the channel, there's a little link below for tpublic.com. It takes you to our store. We have all sorts of different shirts and mugs, phone cases, pillows, all sorts of stuff with our logo on it or just other designs that I've worked up in Photoshop, so feel free to give those a look. Also, make sure to check us out on social media. Twitter and Instagram are at Modern Toy Fair. We do currently have a giveaway going on, so also check out Modern Toy Fair News to hear more about that. Hopefully, we'll see you next week, same toy time, same Toy Fair channel. Thank you for watching.